what's going on YouTube? This is Box Away. If I want to do a video on Adrian Granados against Danny Garcia, which is a, it's a pretty solid fight. I like the fight. I think the matchup is a good fight. Um, I think it's like a 60-40 matchup because I, I do like, I like both fighters, but I do think that Danny has been overrated throughout his career, okay? He's picked up some big wins. I know he beat Amir Khan. Uh, he knocked him out. And I know he beat Lucas Matisse. Uh, but with that being said, outside of those two fights, I feel like as a welterweight, there's a lot of fights that were either debatable or the wins were very overhyped, you know? Uh, Matisse was a great win for him at that time because Matisse was coming off of the Lamont Peterson domination and to this day Peterson has never lost a fight that badly in his career you know I think Matisse's power is just a little too much for him you all know that Matisse is a big big puncher but Matisse hasn't done much since that loss, but lose and lose and lose over and over again. You know, so even though that was a great win, I think people overhyped that win because the because of the fact that Danny was the underdog in that fight. Not to me, but to most people, Danny was supposed to lose that fight, you know? And then you had the Amir Khan win, which was a big win as well. And I'm not taking anything away from that win, but we all know that Amir Khan has always been shitty, you know? And he's always been a sucker for a left hook as that, at that, you know? He's just... He's a great fighter, but he's always been shitty. When he, once he gets caught, it's a wrap, you know? Even Samuel Vargas dropped him in his last fight, you know? So, I think Danny... I think he's like a top six welter. I oh, I, I see Thurman, Thurman beat him, Porter beat him, and I think they still would beat him if, if they had a rematch. But I also believe that Errol Spence would dominate Danny. I think uh, Terrence Crawford would dominate Danny. And I also believe that Manny Pacquiao, a uh, 40 year old Pacquiao, would still beat Danny Garcia. All right, well, not too much of a problem. That's just my opinion. So I, I would probably put him in a sixth position. And this is why I think this is a good match, matchup. Because Adrian Granados is a good... Adrian Granados is a good fighter. All right? And he's... You know, he dominated uh, Amir Imam at 140. Gave Adrian Brona a tough fight. A fight that I think should have been a draw. If not edging it to Granados. You know, I, I don't think... I don't believe Brona won that fight. I couldn't give Brona more than four rounds in that fight. But some of them rounds were very close. So, you know, I thought it should have been a draw. I thought that was another gift fight that Broner got one of many. And uh, he gave Sean Porter a decent scrap, man. He gave Sean Porter a decent fight. Sean Porter won clearly, but it was a good fight. Granados is, is no chump, man. The Duke can box and... He can brawl it out, too, you know? I think he's a little bit more of a brawler than a boxer, but he gets the job done, and he gives a good fight to anybody he's fought. So I think that this is a good matchup because I believe Granados, even though I think Granados is going to lose this fight, you know, I'm, I'm picking Danny to win. I think ta the, the, down, Danny is just a little too talented. Um, I think Granados is going to give him a good fight. Uh, Danny has solid power, uh, solid counter puncher ability. I think Danny's biggest problem was his uh, his lack of speed. But he has a great chin. He's a he's I, he, I don't believe he's ever been down in his career, and even as an amateur, I don't believe he's ever been down. So he has a great chin. So I mean, if it turns into a brawl, I still see Danny, you know, outmatching. Adrian Granados, but it should be a very, very good fight. I think this is going to be a good fight, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to this fight because Danny's Danny's superior to me, but he's not that superior, you know. Um, 
but yeah, I, I would like to see uh, I would like to see Danny against uh, I would like to see both fighters against uh, let's see, you, you got you got Jesse Vargas still out there at welterweight. I think that would still be a good fight. You know, I know guys like Arrow would like to pick up that fight because it's a good name to have on your resume. Uh, you know, for some reason, I, th I thought Danny's name was always bigger than his talent, even though he is talented. Um, you know, I think that people overrate him a little bit. You know, people like to chase him at welterweight because he has a name and he's an easier guy to beat. You know, uh, even Adrian Ganados against Jesse Vargas too. I think that would be a great matchup if they didn't fight already. You know, but yeah, you know, I think it's a fair, solid matchup, man. And you know what? Whenever Danny is involved, because Danny has some really, really good classic fights. He has some good fights, man. Like his fight with Keith Thurman was a good fight. His fight with uh, I mean. You know, uh, Matisse was a great fight. That was an excellent fight. Probably one of the best fights uh, he's ever been in. That was a classic matchup. Uh, I think he put on good fights with fighters because of the fact that he's not as talented as people believe him, believe that he is. I mean, even a Zab Judah fight was a good fight. It was a great fight, and Zab was way past his prime at that point. Zab was past his prime many years before that and that still was a good fight you know because Danny is really not as great as people say he is you know I think he can be out boxed and I think he could be out pressured and I believe also that if it wasn't for Matisse and his eye situation in that fight Matisse might have had a chance of winning that fight because Matisse was doing well before his eye got shut I thought Matisse was winning the uh, earlier rounds, you know, but hey, it's a part of the game. You got your eye busted open. It is what it is, you know, but I like this fight, man. I think, uh, I think uh, Granados is going to give him a good scrap, but I see Danny winning the fight, man. Uh, you know, it's just that, uh, like, you know, Danny's, Danny's main issue is always his, 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 his lack of speed, in my opinion. He's kind of slow. But anyway, um, let me know what you guys think on this fight, man. I, I like the fight. I like the fight. And um, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.